السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It's good to have you here with us at Somaliland National Television. And I'm Mohamed Adin here with English News. Let's take a look at the main stories making headlines. The President of Somaliland attends a state funeral held in Hargeisa. The First Lady of Somaliland lays the foundation stone for Odo's regional headquarters for the Ministry of Social Affairs. Iraq calls for international air power to stop ISIL wrecking priceless heritage. Hello again, now the main stories in Hargeisa. President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silani, accompanied by cabinet ministers, parliamentarians and other renowned figures, attended a state funeral which took place in Hargeisa, the capital of Somaliland. The state funeral held for parliamentarian Harir, who was pronounced dead last night, was attended by government officials, cabinet ministers, parliamentarians and other figures joined by the president of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohamed Mohamud Silanio. The president prayed Allah to grant the deceased with ample sustenance and peaceful abode in the hereafter, sending condolences to the family, loved ones and the public of Somaliland. The state funeral which took place in Nasa Ablot cemeteries was attended by members of cabinet, family members and parliamentarians. The First Lady of Somaliland, Amina Waris Sheikh Mohammed Tirde, laid the foundation stone for the headquarters of the Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs in Awdul region. The First Lady speaking at the event stated that it is the first time to lay the foundation stone for the construction of headquarters for the Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs in Awdul's regional capital city, Boroma former Vice Minister of Social Affairs and Labour Shukri Harir Ismail spoke at the event and stressed that the construction of the headquarters for the Ministry in Odo region is a testament for the increasing government efforts at ensuring progress nationwide. Other keynote speakers at the event welcomed the construction of the building for the Ministry they indicated would be taking part in the regional development and not of the country as a whole. An event held in Kabyle to mark the World Women's Day, having in attendance governmental and non-governmental officials, including the mayor. The mayor of Kabyle reiterated the significance of commemorating the International Women's Day and the role women play in peace and progress throughout Somaliland. Mayor of Kabyle said women should increase participation in the current development efforts to ensure continued social and economic progress. Other keynote speakers at the event highlighted the necessity of making the International Women's Day scheduled the necessity of marking the International Women's Day scheduled for March the 8th. Several other events held to mark the International Women's Day took place across cities and districts of Somaliland. Similar celebrations have taken place across the world to mark the World Women's Day. Esteemed guests at the event included residents, women rights activists and political figures. You're still watching the English news on Somaliland National Television. The first Somali-speaking channel with the English news and now for the main international headlines in detail. <laughs> The Iraqi government is calling for air power to be used to stop ISIL militants destroying the country's archaeological treasures. The US-led coalition, which has been targeting positions since last summer, is being accused of doing enough to protect priceless heritage. The ancient site of Khosabad in northern Iraq is thought to be the latest victim. Officials say Hetra has already been bulldozed by militants after an assault on the ancient Assyrian city of Nimud. The destruction is being widely condemned, with the UN describing the wrecking spree as a war crime, but it has done nothing to stop the militants. 
And that's it for this edition of the English News. Thank you for joining us. Catch us at the same time tomorrow. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.